Mifepristone is used for more than 60% of abortions in the United States. Doctors say it is a proven safe drug that has been legal for 20 years in this country. Chicago obstetrician and gynecologist Dr. Mia Norland says her practice also uses the medication for miscarriages. Almost, you know, daily we use it to manage miscarriages. So if this was blocked, for abortion care, it would also be blocked for miscarriage management. Norlin is relieved the U.S. Supreme Court refused to limit access to the abortion and miscarriage medication. So is Planned Parenthood of Illinois. CEO and President Jennifer Welch says the case should never have made it up to the top of the legal system. I'm so relieved that the Supreme Court did not allow these plaintiffs who had never been harmed or injured to question the whole FDA regulatory policy. The high court took up the case after an Amarillo, Texas federal judge suspended the Food and Drug Administration's approval of Mifepristone. The plaintiffs claimed it is harmful to women. In a unanimous ruling, the justices say plaintiffs did not have the legal grounds to bring the case since they had not been harmed by the drug. I hope um, the Supreme Court understands that they shouldn't question the FDA and that, you know, the drugs like mifepristone have been studied. They were studied for a long before, you know, 2000 when it was approved. The pro-life legal firm, the Thomas More Society, is disappointed the high court refused to address the merits of the case. We're concerned about the dignity of an unborn human being and the child's mother. The Thomas More Society will support any legal effort to ban the abortion drug, while Planned Parenthood says it will remain vigilant to protect a patient's right to choose. There are similar legal challenges already in the pipeline in three different states, Missouri, Kansas, and Idaho. All three cases are likely to wind up before the U.S. Supreme Court. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.